have the um, an online college, so to speak, that is owned by the government, where anybody can take courses with an assigned teacher online cool. for free. See, cool. education should should be available to even the poorest child or adult. It should be a right. A right. Oh, I, the, the conservatives hate that word. They hate that word, well, they, right? They don't want the little guy to be educated. But it's their right to carry an AK-47 into a school or a bar. Listen, it should be a right. Education and, and decent health care should be rights not privileges and it's Correct. not it's not commie but if you want the elite to pay for it they're going to call them privileges well how rich does a does a person have to be you know what they're trying to do you know that assurance program the lifeline program yeah. the, the with the free cell phone assurance wireless for emergencies yeah well, what's the deal yeah they want to do away with that for the poor of course okay because they're saying the poor uh, there are people taking this the, for drugs, money, and selling the damn phone, and this, that, and the other thing. But that's Who the hell are the poor to have a phone? Let them buy it themselves. Or they don't have money to buy it. No. They, 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 they. So that's their own. Phone. Could you, you know picture the poor with the little money they have going to a T-Mobile or Verizon and signing a, getting a cell phone with a two-year contract and paying fifty dollars a month or. Ugh. Even forty dollars or thirty-five dollars a month. That, these people can't afford that. But but that's that's how the but the rich Republicans can care less if the poor have an emergency cell phone but on. That's them. how evil those people are. That's my point. That's how evil they are. I wonder if once a poor person gets an assurance wireless cell phone with a bona fide number, I wonder if they could turn around. And get Magic Jack Plus with for the with the computer modem and and they can use that number because Magic Jack Plus is like twenty dollars a year for unlimited everything. I wonder there's a new program. There's a new one now. I don't remember the and name. You don't have the computer doesn't have to be booted up, uh, uh, yeah, Doctor Bill. With Magic Jack Plus, there's another one. Yeah, there's another company. Rabbit Ear. Uh, there's there's one called Rabbit Ear that you, where you're supposed to get hundreds and hundreds of channels uh, via your uh, computer modem. Called Rabbit Ears. The measure would reduce the eighty billion dollar a year program by as much as five percent. House conservatives have urged major cuts as the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP, has doubled in costs in 2008. Now why did it double? Why? Somebody just put the money in there? No! Because there's more poor! There's more poor folk. Jesus Christ almighty! There's more poor folk around. Again, these people are evil. Po' boy sandwich. These yeah, they, are evil. of course they're evil. The bill is certain to face strong opposition from the Democratic Senate and President Obama, who have opposed major cuts to the program. Oh, really? Well, why did he say some uh, a few days ago or whatever the hell it was that uh, he may allow to cuts in Social Security? Social Security has nothing to do with the damn deficit. It's its own fund. Yeah. It's his own goddamn fund. It's his own fund. That's nothing to do with the deficit. No, that's yeah, just... Everybody wants to cut it, cut it, That's cut, just cut. a lie to get rid of Social Security. Exactly. No, they don't want to get rid of it, per se. Change the name, yeah. They want it to become like IRAs and 401ks, and, and you have to pay a fee to somebody on uh, Wall Street to handle your Social Security. Well, uh, to pay a fee and to maintain a 401k or an IRA or KEO, whatever you want to call them, doesn't that, don't you usually have to have a steady full-time job to do that? Presumably. <laughs> Presumably, but that's the point. Uh, everybody would have to pay a fee to some joker on Wall Street to manage their account. That's 
Wall Street wants that money, man. They want more they money? They crave that money. Oh, you mean more profit? Yes. Handling the Social Security accounts. They crave it. They crave it. Okay? Republicans say the legislation would find the savings by tightening the eligibility eligibility standards. I think they're ki kind of too tight right now. Wouldn't you say? Sure. In some programs, in pro some programs, they actually count your life insurance as income. This is really weird. Your life insurance is a cost, not a, you know, earned income. Isn't that, unless you sell it. Isn't that sim is That's even worse than uh, taxing unemployment benefits. Exactly. That's another one. That's another one. Yeah. Now, but, but getting back to the insurance, if you trade in your insurance and yeah. surrender it and get money for it. Right. That money is not should not be considered income because now oh, it's man. going to cost you to bury yourself. Yeah, unless you use like a Rubbermaid uh, or Tupperware casket. Burp out. Well, where the, are you going to put it? Burp, burp out the a vertical. Save land. A vertical. I took a tube. Just put you in vertically. Yeah, but the land costs money. Yeah, it's true. You know. I mean, but. It's Unless thought. they throw you in Potter's Field and let the state bury you, whatever. Potter's Field, would they have uh, clay, clay pot, uh, clay caskets? <laughs> no, they might have uh, burn you. you. Just throw yeah. the, the ashes. What about there. pine boxes like they, they 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 did in the Wild Wild West? No more man for that crap. Oh, so it's cheaper to burn to to burn you and throw your ashes to the wind. Yeah. Or put them in a little hole. You know, say hey, there's a. Uh, there's Bill Eisman over there. Go ahead. You want to see him? He's, he's, he's underneath those cucumbers. <laughs> see those cucumber plants over there? He's, 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 he's underneath there somewhere. Anyway, Republicans say the legislation would find that savings by tightening eligibility standards and imposing new work requirements. Oh, boy. There ain't got there, no jobs there, now. There ain't no jobs out there. So what are they going to do? Work requirements. It would also likely try to reduce the roles by requiring drug testing. Okay. They're, the Republican solutions to things are not real solutions. Yeah, that's another word to be used in quotes or not use it at all. You know what I mean? They're like. They, they they like to sweep things under the carpet. Exactly. Their their answer is dilution, not solution. They are obstructionists. They are counter revolutionaries. They are not governors. They cannot govern. Despite what Chris Christie said when he got elected, I'm here to govern. The guy who's stronger than the storm. I'm here exactly. to govern. That's because he doesn't live by the ocean. That's why he's stronger than the storm. The biggest obstructionist is that Actually, nau nauseating, he... ugly, turtle-faced Mitch McConnell. Ooh. He's got to be the biggest obstru obstructionist. He doesn't do anything co constructive in Washington. When Christie goes into the ocean, it rises by five feet. He's like an He's iceberg. He's a danger. He's like an iceberg. A danger at the shore. Yeah. Well, okay. they could use him uh, uh, with... He could lie uh, uh, with the sandbags for the next hurricane. <laughs> It could be a great barrier, <laughs> seawall. Sink him to be a barrier reef. Yeah, if he, if he wants to help the state, I mean, that's about the only good he can ever do is to become part of the seawall. Because <laughs> he doesn't, he hasn't done anything except to help his rich friends. That's creating jobs, is it not? Helping his rich friends? Yeah. Not to pay taxes? Yeah. That's what they say. Well, Barbara Buono, who is the Democratic uh, opponent for Chris Christie,
better get really tough when she debates him and 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 mudslings and hits him hard below the belt, Ooh. right in his Rocky Mountain oysters, because Chris Christie is a bit of a celebrity throughout the world. Yes, people in third world countries no have seen it. Chris Christie in their media. They told me themselves. So Barbara Buono better really get down and dirty and dig for a lot of Chris Christie dirt on on him if she expects to, to win. Texas is running out of the drug used to execute prisoners in what has become the most active death penalty state in the country. They're just saying that. They don't want to spend taxpayers' money on the drug. They want to probably... Hanging is, is much cheaper. Yeah, they just don't want to, you know, they don't want to, that's what it is. I wonder if they don't hang because the prisoner will probably have a, uh, an orgasm when he gets hung. You know. Well, they, they would have to use the same noose, the same gallows, you know, because I, I know Republicans would not want to uh, spend, on keep on, spend money on more, on yeah, more yeah. rope. So they would have to have, just buy one rope. Maybe they would have you buy your own. Bring your own rope. Yeah, like bring your own booze. B-Y, uh, B, bring your, uh, B-Y-O-R. Bring your own rope. B-Y-O-R, bring your own rope. You to your own hanging. Yeah. They did things like that in the old days, you know. Well, they don't they want people in prison to pay room and board? Yes. And, uh... And, and, and work off your room and board. Yes. Which And if you add the debt that a prisoner may owe, there's a chance that he might be a, a, a slave for, 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 for many years, maybe his whole life. Yes. And that's how, you, that's how, they, they, that's how they want to bring back slavery, the Republicans, uh, by using the privatized prisons. Free labor. Free labor, brother. They love it. They love it. Wake up, America. Wake up and smell the coffee and realize, you know, what's happening. And don't drink Starbucks because it's loaded with caffeine. They spike As it. As compared to Dunky Dunkin and Donuts? McDonald's. Why, they want you to become more addicted to caffeine? I don't know. It's just say it, it, it has the most oh. of the three. Is caffeine addictive? Absolutely. It is? Okay. Certainly. A spokesman for the Texas Department of Criminal Justice said the state's remaining supply of pentobarbital Pinto beans? Pentobarbital will expire in September. Oh, the drug that stops, what is it, stop respiration in the heart? Well, don't they give you? Don't they give them a drug to make them unconscious first? Sodium, like sodium, pen, sodium pentothal. I believe they do. I'm not sure. Uh, well, how do they? Uh, does it first? Who knows? Well, how do they put animals to sleep with two drugs? As far as I know, yeah. Because the second drug is the one that's active on a heart. The first drug. It's also a barbiturate of some kind. The I first know. drug probably knocks you out. And the second drug kills you dead. Kills you. The agency is exploring all options, including alternate sources of pentobarbital or an alternate drug for use in the lethal injection process. Spokesman Jason Clark said in a statement, Texas has executed 11 inmates this year so far. Don't forget that maybe um, maybe uh, what do you call it uh, the governor oops governor oops you know um, maybe he's trying to beat George W. Bush's record because George W. Bush executed more prisoners than any other governor. Maybe, 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 maybe they should uh, they should start um, an alligator farm in Austin, Texas, and uh, 
and just feed them to the gators. Maybe that'll be cheaper for Republicans. Hey, we used to have the Coliseum there and the uh, lions eating, yeah. you know, whatever. Remember, uh, remember Barbara Bush, let them eat cake? Hurricane Katrina. Hey, this is a step up for this some of This is a step upward for the poor to sleep on the floor of the the New Orleans Superdome on right. the AstroTurf. It's yeah. a step upward. They should they should be glad they're sleeping at the dome. Exactly. Let them eat cake. Do birds cough? You know, I never seen a bird sneeze or cough. But I I know that birds can get pneumonia. But I, my lizards used to. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. But in my bird watching and limited bird ownership, I've never seen or heard one cough. If they don't, how do they remove secretions from their lungs and airways? I know they're uh, the mating ritual of birds are, are not exactly enjoyable as uh, as mammals. They have to fly and put their cloaca together. In the air? Yeah. In the air? Really? Yeah. Birds cough all right. Really? And they sneeze, too. Interesting. The reason you assume you've never witnessed this is if you've actually been near a sick bird is that it wouldn't draw your attention. A cough sounds like a slightly different chirp. Uh -huh. A sneeze is so soft you can barely hear it. And the head movement is almost undetectable. Poor little birdie. A vet or a trained caretaker would notice, but most observers would not. So if your own Tweety Pie starts to sound a bit different, it's time for a visit to the vet. You mean if you're... Oh, wait! Until he looks sick. Your cockatiel or your parakeet or whatever. Or your very expensive parrot, which is captive bred in most cases. I don't know why the damn, the damn animals cost so much. But it's like with purebred dogs. You know, they want a fortune from a lot of them. Mm. Very, very, very crooked capitalism is. Now I have a situation here where if I get my ass in gear I shall write a little letter to the local newspaper oh, concerning concerning this okay if you've been using grandma's handicapped parking tag or plate fraudulent long after she's been gone the uh, time to end this fraudulent ruse is at hand it's fraud Starting Thursday, the New Jersey Motor Vehicle Commission will begin requiring disabled tag and plate owners to verify their disabilities by getting a medical professional to sign recertification documents every three years. A change that ends the old process of automatic triennial renewal by mail. In another change announced in May, hang tags are now designed to make it nearly impossible to falsify expiration dates. Mm. Right. A crime that carries fines as high as ten thousand dollars. Oh, they love those fines. And prison terms as long as eighteen months. But don't expect a crackdown on illegal tag or plate use. Heaven forbid people in on Wall Street or Goldman Sachs should get fined like like that or prison imprisoned. For one thing, current tag and plate holders, a group whose membership exceeds 500,000 need not submit recertification papers until they are due for renewal. That means it will take at least three years for all qualified drivers to get new tags and plates. 
Also, illegal use of handicapped working privileges, excuse me, parking privileges, was never a big law enforcement priority anyway. Only 61 tickets were issued for violations of this state statute in the counties of Bergen and Passaic during the 12-month period ending in April. The more common violation, parking in a handicapped spot without an authorized tag, has rarely been much of a law enforcement priority. Even police in two suburban towns with big retail suburban stores and shopping malls. Paramus and Wayne issued only 114 and 230 of these tickets in the last 12 months. But in more urban settings, hogging a space meant for a much less able-bodied driver is considered much less tolerable. If somebody is handicapped and someone else uses their space, we take it very seriously," said Passaic Deputy Chief Ross Capuana. Capuana. After all, these people are usually older and have trouble walking. <sighs> Taking their spaces is wrong. None of the other police departments in the two-county region rivals Passaic in the issuance of handicapped parking tickets. A total of 14,248 summonses for the last 12-month period. I've, I've seen people zip out of their vehicles quite briskly with handicapped stickers on their vehicle and run into the store. So I think you're right. I think uh, there should be some reform here. Oh, but there is reform. And this is what I'm going to be complaining about. The reform is that the handicapped will now be bothered to go to a doctor every three years, pay him his amount of money for the visit, so that he will give him a letter of recertification for his handicap. Thinking now, that this is a problem for someone else, but what are we doing? We're making the victim giving him the cost, the trouble of going to the doctor, Spence. and getting a yeah, new yeah, yeah, letter, etc. The victim. We should be doing something to prevent the guy doing this problem. The fraudulent perpetrator. Yeah not penalizing the victim. Exactly. They do the same thing with auto insurance, like in New Jersey. I, I talked about this in a, in a recent past show. The reason why um, uh, my insurance is so high, and even if you have an older vehicle and you have minimum coverage, the reason why you're paying so much in this area is because there are many, many extra accident claims in our populated area and it's it's a no-fault state all it seems like all the no-fault states have Republican governors and no fault simply means that everybody is taking on the burden of uh, for all the bad drivers even the good drivers are absorbing all, you know, all these claims that are being paid out for the bad drivers, penalized. Why should a good driver with a clean record, um, an older person perhaps, why should they pay for people that are careless, reckless, and have a bad record and points off their license? It's the same thing with your uh, handicapped parking sticker. <clears throat> That's because, the, so that we will allow the insurance companies to make more money. That's what it's all about. That's all, it's, it's all not about you. It's all crooked. Or insuring you, or etc. It's about them making more money. It's an excuse. It's, it's crooked. And this is, this is the kind of capitalism that Republicans want. Uh, deregulated, uh, no holds barred, stealing. Legalized stealing. But it's always stealing. <clears throat> from the lower rungs of the economic ladder. 
It's never stealing from those who no. already have. Oh no, the, the, the haves can lie to you and steal from you. Yeah. You know, it's like that, that banner I, I read a long time ago. Uh, you know, when you lie to the government, it's a felony, right? Mm -hmm. When the government lies to you, it's just politics. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So that's it. Uh, is there one more interesting reading that we can do? They are all interesting in their own context. Uh, okay. Well, I like to shake, rattle, and roll my, my viewers. Well, you can shake, rattle, and roll and smile the stuff too. I mean, not dance, not dance for them, but I mean, you know. Governor Pat McCrory, Raleigh, North Carolina. Let me guess. He's a Republican? Correct. <laughs> That's Signed famous. into law on Monday a measure directing state officials to regulate abortion clinics based on the standards as those for outpatient surgical centers. A change that critics say will force most to close. I guess these are right-wing religious nuts who believe that a fertilized egg in a fetus is a human being. That's correct. When they have no evidence and to su support that. even worse than that, as some on Wall Street believed when they created the meltdown, they are doing God's work. How do they figure that? They figure it. I don't know how. But they know nothing they about the Bible, it. the God of the Bible. They know nothing about it. That's correct. And guess what? Yeah. God doesn't need their help. Okay? No, they Well, we all know they're just helping Satan. That's correct. In the end times. They are bewitched by the angel of light. And they believe they are doing God's work. But they are doing the work of the God of this world. The old serpent that was cast down. The dragon. That was cast down to earth to, to deceive the world. Revelation 12, 9. He's already done that. The whole world is deceived. That's the white horse of the apocalypse. False Christianity. Yeah, false prophets, false Christianity. Ah. <coughs> 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 Ragweed season. Before he comes, <laughs> there shall be a falling away. <sighs> yeah. A gigantic falling away. Where's your whatchamacallit? What's that? I don't know. You had a uh, homeopathic something or whatever. I, I wasn't getting an attack when I was home, so I didn't take it. Oh, well, you're supposed to take it during the season every day, I guess. It's the time of the season for love. Critics say the move represents a shift by the first year Republican governor who pledged as a candidate last fall that he would not approve any new abortion restrictions if elected. So he lied! He lied to get elected! He lied! That's how they do it. That's how the Republicans get elected. Isn't it funny yeah. how all the all the southern and western so-called Bible Belt states always seem to have a Republican governor? Well, they're not going to vote for a Democrat. And and Kentucky has two of those scumbags in uh, in Washington. And know? they're both scumbags too. Yeah, yeah Turtle Face and, and the other famous guy was it Rand Paul? Rand Paul. Rand yeah. Paul. Who thinks he's doing the Constitution? <laughs> okay. Oh, what liars for hire! Critics say the move will effectively close most of North Carolina's 16 abortion clinics because only one now meets the standards of an outpatient surgical center. An ambulatory surgical center costs about. Mm -hmm. One million dollars more to build than an abortion clinic. The director of the state's division of health services regulation said.
Now, this is not only happening in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. It's happening in many red states, mm -hmm. Texas, and etc. Mm -hmm. Because once the Republicans got the majorities in these states, this is their agenda. And it's an agenda basically against women. Anti-women. Correct. Anti-women, anti-minority, anti-gay. Phyllis Schlafly says anti Republicans don't need the Latinos' votes. Really? Yeah. We just got to get more white people to vote. That's what she said. Westport, Connecticut. The right. parents of a 15-year-old Connecticut girl sued a summer camp in Massachusetts on Monday. Yeah, what happened? Saying their daughter was kicked out of camp Why? last month after a boy kissed her. Oh my God. Heaven forbid anybody should get kissed. Wait, what was the location of this camp? Massachusetts. Oh, it, it's in a, a northeastern, like, liberal kind of state. Remember there were witches in Massachusetts. Yeah, but some... Once upon a time, the governor and those in charge believed in Massachusetts that the witches rode on brooms to the Black Sabbath. But, um... But these kids are doing far more than just kissing in reality. We don't know that. What's the problem with... That's what the camp assumed. What's the problem with the kiss? The girl was sent home from Camp Emerson in Hinsdale, and a camp official falsely accused her and the boy of sexually provocative behavior. A kiss is sexually provocative? According to the lawsuit filed in Bridgeport Superior Court. Well, what, what if they what if they were caught doing something else? They would have had heart attacks. The, uh... It also says she suffers from emotional and psychological disorders including obsessive compulsive disorder. So people with psychological issues can't get laid? They can't get kissed. What happens when they get kissed? The girl who lives in Westport was escorted out of the camp by a uniformed police officer and was forbidden to say goodbye to her friends and counselors. You hear this? Are you listening to this? People were... Can we all say stormtrooper? People were swapping spit as I was growing up, going to school, left and right. The family spent $6,450 for the four-week camp, which was not refunded, their lawyer said. Very strange, in my opinion. Very strange indeed. Very strange. Oh, boy. Well, anyway, that concludes our show for this week progressive discussions the weeks go f by fast and so does the shows it's it's amazing where all this time uh, went it just flew by quickly everything flies Reverend Bill flies by yeah that's why we got to make the most of it time keeps on slipping 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 into, the, into future. the future doo -doo -doo. Fly like an eagle to the sea, fly like an eagle, let the spirit carry me. Uh, anyway, join us next week for progressive discussions. And we're having a very unseasonably dry and cool uh, first week of August. But I think it's supposed to get hot next week. From what I hear. Right now, it's not the heat that bothers me, it's the humidity. Oh, it's humid? It's not dry? That's why I got the air conditioner on, because it's humid. Yeah, oh, all right, okay. 
Well, I mean, it's drier than it was when we had the heat wave. Well, yesterday I did not have the air conditioner on all day. Mm, yeah, well, I mean, I just lowered a the thermostat, you know. Just like, a fan. Yeah, okay. All right, say so long to these people. So long, people.